This is a video instruction of the Rainbird ESP ME Modular Irrigation Controller. We'll start by programming the date. We'll start with the day and we'll increase it up to the 26th day of January. Next, we'll hit the month. And finally, the year. To make changes, we'll just hit the plus or the minus to get to the year that we're looking for. Next, we'll set the time. It's currently on 24 hour. So what we'll do is make changes to that. Go to 12 hour. And it's currently 5.30 p.m. Next, we'll set the set watering start times. Now on this controller, there are four programs with up to six start times per program. For simplicity, we'll set one start time on program A for 7 a.m. Next, we'll set the station run times. For simplicity, we'll just put eight minutes on the first two zones. Now the controller comes defaulted to 10 minutes per zone. Next, we'll set the days of the week. The controller comes defaulted to water every day. Now if we want to shut a day off, we simply hit the minus and an X goes through the watering drip on that day. Next, we'll go to advanced watering cycles. Currently, we have it set by day, which allows us to turn off individual days. With this program, we can also do cyclic or odd even watering. Being an odd address, if we ever ran into watering restrictions, I would set it to odd, allowing only watering on odd days. The next feature is the seasonal adjust. Now we can change this on all the programs or we can change it on individual programs. It allows us to go from 5% up to 200% of the watering time allowed on the program. For example, if we have eight minutes set on zone one and we have 100% seasonal adjust, it's gonna water eight minutes. However, if we go up to 200% with our seasonal adjust, it will then water 16 minutes on that zone. And vice versa, we can go down to 5%. The next feature is delay watering. What this allows us to do is delay the watering for a certain number of days. It's real simple. We can delay the watering one day, two day, and so on giving us a buffer before the irrigation system starts. Which is nice for a new, newly seeded yard, as it may be a couple days after installation before the yard is seeded. The next feature is a rain sensor. Currently it's set to bypass, as this controller is not set up with a rain sensor. If one was installed, we would simply put on there active, and the rain sensor would begin to work. The next feature is manual station. Now this is a way to water individual zone or zones on this irrigation controller. We'll simply put the time on the zones that we want to water and advance through. Once we've hit the advance button, go back up to automatic and the zone will start. Manual program is the next feature. This is to water the entire program. For example, on program A, if we've got zones one and two with eight minutes, we can run both of those zones with the manual program function. The next feature of this irrigation controller is the test all stations. This is a way to run through all the zones for a certain number of minutes. Now we can increase or decrease the minutes as we see fit. This is a great feature for when we're going to winterize the irrigation system or for turning on the irrigation system. 
The final button is off. Now the irrigation controller will no longer run in the off position. One unique feature of this irrigation controller gives us the ability to use or not use a master valve. Now a master valve in many situations is used for turning on a pump or turning on fertilizer injection or turning on iron removal. Now what we'll do is go to set station run times and we'll hit the two arrows and it currently says that the master valve is turned on. If we would like to turn it off we simply go hit minus. Now the master valve no longer works on this specific zone. In most situations however throughout the summer watering months we leave the clock on auto or run.